I really wanted to really get this Monday Night Raw review from May 16 to S16. Get it out way so I can do same rules. So Monday Night Raw. I do enjoy it in terms of Billy City, but I thought I liked it for the most part. Um, um, this show uh, started with AJ Star Roman Reigns. I think this pro for AJ Star really shows that AJ is high on the ring on the mic that he can be a unitar I know he is not the greatest talker in the world the best talker but but I don't think people give him the credit so I think he's I think he's good no, very good player. I think he's at least he's on the mic. And when you look at the Roman Reigns promo, it was like it was like why this guy is a fucking heel. It's like it's like he never had a energy baby fit type of all that all the baby fit that be I think it's just a problem he doesn't really have that and when you look how the promise from the session makes you wonder why he's in a fucking here and this promo was to set up the the extreme rules match for this Sunday the Roman Reigns and his style the bullet color come out, but then he also is that came out from behind for it is that and Roman hits it is that that was a DC hype uh this match this match was um this match was um, I uh, tried to, and fuck that John Cena, bro. Not even bothered. So, 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 it was supposed to be. Um, so, so, it started to get really going, and the match that they gave and they entered to that tag team at ball. Now, with the so, it's everything. Versus the Mr. Kevin Lovin instead is because of Seth A. McMahon is Cesaro and the Miz versus Kevin Lovin and Sami Zayn. Interesting dynamic here. I really. So yeah, I really. Really refreshed. And I thought the match was good. I thought the match was good. I think Sammy saying I over one say over one and and um Kevin attack and fall attack and so yeah. And then I had the debut of the shiny stars. Oh god. Don't know what to make about this. So there are characters from Puerto Rico. If I people to come to Puerto Rico. I don't know, but yeah. Back in your interest to stay abroad. I missed that so I accidentally missed that so apologize to everyone. Wanna get my bill? I I heard them in the video. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think, I think this was done because Emma was injured, so they had to make up for that. They, like, that, I don't even know, so, uh, yeah, I accidentally, 
Paul and then I'm in sports, the D. Ambrose, Charles versus Chris Jericho in a Asylum match. Charles, so D. Ambrose comes up to over the Asylum cage and he talks about how he wants a match with Steve Rule. Jericho steps Charlie and then it's going to be in a Asylum match. Very cool idea. Is very TNA written all over because TNA do these matches with a cage. It's like a cage, a black cage with weapons above. <laughs> like uh, like this, like above here. <laughs> and the Ambos won. So, Ambos was the Jericho in a side cage man. Do they in the time machine? <laughs> the fuck? Do they a time machine? Really? And the funny thing, this was really short. It was like they were just getting out of the way. Where they could have been more awesomeness. It's like. Wow, <laughs> with the ball, I was like, wow, that's it? That was really sure. Go Fate 2009 Venice is really cracking me up because what so much potential he could have been to as I did not try to say to the next year. <laughs> that's for damn sure because of Randy on and Ball, this, blah, 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 fuck stupid, even though he passed on foe. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> and that's my video. That the Uso vs. Luke and Carl Anderson, okay match. The Uso's rain rich. I should be surprised. Probably not. Not at all. And here's why. It's typical Vince Booking. He wants to see his homegrown guy go over the invader. And they pretty much established that the use of the Luke as an R from New Japan. Not what for the funny thing is Luke was was always was story before he was in New Japan. See, Chris, see how that's making any fucking sense? And the fact that they call the club instead of the political to which they actually own the right of the fucking name. <sighs> uh, I gotta try to say it says I have a they got off on any fan. And this happened to W W. And you could say it most likely gonna happen to TNA <laughs> because AJ Styles dropped his first wrestling to Chris Jericho. He dropped to Robert Rage and most likely after from a short time with AJ Styles, he is a fast guy Robert Rage. It's definitely obvious he's gonna lose to Robert Rage again. I bet though the Real vs. Kalisto really was the same match. Uh, and then I think at least uh, I think the real one and then Rose beat him. Uh, yeah, Rose really uh, looked like a monster, like the old Rose, the Buccaneer rule. And made the predictions for them as a lot more interesting. Because a lot of people say Rose is gonna win, but after this, there might be a second to win. Although maybe Mike get Rooster the next night on wall. And then, so I think he ain't against Rooster really the time of fashion. And then the main event. <laughs> the contra signing. Um the tire was and uh, the tire solid. The first were really over in in the Hometown, Charlie North Carolina, 
and the tire was pretty much kind of blue. So that way into see that I am. Way better than the Patriot contest I um, it, ha it had. Because at least there was no fucking death references in or crying of all kinds of this. Uh, Rick Fred now that most of it was done. Um, the, the new stipulation the contrary is this time is that if Rick Fred walks down to the ring he well, Charlotte will forfeit the Divas, the, the Rumor Champions, sorry. <laughs> I can't stand the Divas Champions, but it's the Rumor Champions. Oh. <laughs> um, so, Charlotte, so, 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 slap, Stephanie slaps with Flair, and Charlotte, and Natalia may shy tap out. It's me that he go in. So, it's obviously it's not. The thing about the Red Fred thing, I think that I, they made, I think they made so much deal out of Red Fred Benny for reasons like that. I have a sneaky feeling, a sneaky feeling that Red Fred is going to somehow, some way, interfere. Not as well, not as on screen like full with Fremo, but I think it's, it's gonna do somehow. Even though Charlotte should win clean, I uh, will talk about more of the three rules for this, so yeah. Say it for that. So, I enjoy Raw, it was a decent show to build up the series, so yeah. So for the so side, y'all like, subscribe, thank you very much, thank you very much, and comment section below. I did some I need to ask you, stay tuned for the stream, let's put this just tomorrow.